Periscope. Don't forget, you can tap the screen to put us hearts and also swipe left and share with your friends. Stream. I'm Jeff Gillette, Public Information Coordinator for the Town of Danville, and as you can see, I'm dressed a little bit differently than I was the last time we did a uh, Periscope. And here, let me move my hand. I've determined that Periscope is actually somewhat discriminating against us left-handers. Uh, and where we are is uh, here at the Veterans Memorial Building in the town of Danville. Here, I'm going to turn around so you can see behind me. We've got the, uh, the Veterans Memorial Building. And I, we did a little walkthrough yesterday, a sneak peek, as it were, of the new exhibit that's going on this weekend for Veterans Day. And uh, we thought that maybe coming through and seeing the finished product might give you a, a good uh, taste for it, and maybe you'll come down tomorrow. It's almost closing time today. They're going to close down at uh, 4 o'clock, but uh, they will be back uh, and from tomorrow from uh, 10 a.m. until uh, 3 p.m. So. Uh, why don't we go ahead and take a walk through. I'm going to flip the screen around so you can see it. We'll walk through and see some of the things that are happening. There's the front of the building and we have along the streets. Hello to Russia, by the way. Sorry about that. Didn't mean to not acknowledge that. Uh, we have some uh, different vehicles out on the streets here as well as your opportunity to sit in a jet fighter. USS Hornet is here and uh, people are given the opportunity to sit up in the cockpit and see what that's all about, courtesy of the USS Hornet Museum. As you can see, we have some of our younger Danvillians getting in and trying it out. And we have veterans here to talk about the, uh, the Hornet Museum. And then we have some more equipment a little bit further down the street. Go. We got a uh, military jeep and cannon. Bet it goes fast too. Huh? And we do have some subject matter experts here, so I'm going to ask a question as soon as he's in the middle of talking to somebody. But as soon as he's done, we're going to ask exactly what it is that we're looking at here. So if I if I can get you on camera for one second, can you tell me what it is we're looking at here? So, uh, how is your cannon? And if you look right here, mechanism recoil, 75, pack howitzer, M1 Alpha. It's American made. All right, and how old is this piece of equipment? I mean, this is not something that would be in current use. This is a decommissioned uh, cannon. This is one out of four cannons. And all four cannons have served in a campaign. All right. Thanks very much. Thank you. All right, keep walking through here. We've got a, uh, a mobile gurney over here and a little demonstration showing what would happen in a triage situation, taking an injured soldier in for treatment. Very basic controls, as you can see. All right, now we'll get to the good stuff. The theme this year is women in the military, and as you got a chance to see yesterday when we were doing a real brief walkthrough, uh, we saw some of these mannequins being loaded in, and uh, now we should be able to get a better look at the entire exhibit. And I believe there's, a, as I recall from talking to Bob Sada yesterday, we have somewhere in the area of over 20 mannequins in different uniforms for the various uh, branches of the service. So in addition to that, you have some of the uh, interesting recruiting posters from the past. A little, a little different these days, I would think. And lots of memorabilia out here. We, we were very fortunate. Uh, we had a lot of people who had military memorabilia that they were willing to donate to be a part of this exhibit. And again, this exhibit is going on through tomorrow, so you can come down and, uh, and see it for yourself, see it live and talk to some of the veterans and, and just hear a little bit more about what life is like for women in the military. Uh, the Tomorrow's exhibit runs from 10 a.m. until 3 p.m. here at the Veterans Memorial Building on Hearts Avenue in downtown Danville.
So we'll walk through a little bit more, take a look at a few more things, and then we'll sign off so that you have something still to discover when you come down and visit us tomorrow. It's been a busy day on Periscope. I, I think this is going to be our last one for today. Hope you've enjoyed them so far. And uh, I've enjoyed talking to you and seeing your comments and your questions and look forward to talking to you again. So once again, this is the Veterans Exhibit, Veterans Day Exhibit at the Veterans Memorial Building in downtown Danville. And it will run tomorrow from 10 a.m. until 3 p.m. So come on down and check it out for yourself. Thanks for watching.